Keyword, Broadside's Attack. When this ship is given a shoot action, you may reduce all of its cannon ranges to S and then select a single target that the ship can attack into which all of its cannons can draw clear lines of fire. If you do, roll a single D6. If the resultant is higher than the ranks of all of the ship's cannons, ignore eliminated cannons, they all hit and this ship scores one additional hit. If the result is equal to or less than even one of one cannon's rank, they all miss. No other abilities, including rerolls, die roll modifiers, offensive abilities of the ship, and defensive abilities of the target, can be applied to this shoot action. So, this is generally five point ability on crew. I've got HMS Duke of York here, which does have the broadsides attack keyword, and it's on a few crew as well. In this case, all of the Duke of York's cannons are rank two, so if I roll a three or higher, has to be higher than all of the ranks on the ship, then it hits. But, since they're, they're L range cannons, but broadsides attack reduces the range to S. So normally I'd be in L range right here, but then in S range I would not be in range of, with broadsides attack. In this case, I'll get up close, and I have all three cannons with the 2S essentially, and then I'm going to roll and see if it works. So that misses. That means that I can't reshoot any of the cannons. That's my entire attack for this turn. So it's all or nothing. And then let's say I had another action to redo it. You cannot reroll broadsides attack like it says in the keyword. On a five though, this does hit. And then I have three masts, but then it scores an extra hit. So I'd take out four masts on the eagle. So this ship would be dismasted on that one single die roll. So broadsides attack is generally overrated, especially by newer players. Um, I kind of liked it at first, but um, especially if you don't roll very well with cannons like I do, it's not a very good ability at all. Um, it's best on small ships with one or two masts because then you get a higher percent bonus with the extra hit. Like a two master could get three hits and you're only, you're only sacrificing one die roll on the second cannon if you go all for nothing on broadsides attack. But on a five master, not only will it be a lot harder to get the cannons in range, but also you'll be spending, you'll be doing all five cannons on one die roll, in which case you'd usually score maybe two, three, four hits um, by rolling individually versus broadside attack. You could get technically six hits, which might be overkill. You might not need that many, or um, you'll miss, which happens very often. So broadside attack, it's not really worth the hype. Um, it's an okay keyword on smaller ships, but generally it's not really worth using, and it, it inflates the cost of a lot of otherwise good gunships, including the Duke of York, which is still a pretty solid ship. So that was the keyword broadsides attack.